This is Fox 18 Sports Sunday. Well, this is an absolute treat. We have got a Super Bowl champion in studio. Well, let's do it. Let's do the introduction. Here he is, Mr. Jake Gervas, Los Angeles Rams, Super Bowl champion. It's been a little over two weeks now since you and your terrific team won it all. Uh, what's, the, what's it been like the last couple weeks? Oh, man, it's been crazy. You know, since the game ended, it's kind of been a blur. We had a big post-game party with all our teammates, family, friends. Uh, the parade was on Wednesday, throwing a quick 12-hour trip to Vegas. It's been uh, it's been quite the ride since you know we won Super Bowl 56. 12 hours to Vegas. I guess <laughs> what stay what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Exactly. It was just a good trip. I think 20 of us from the team ended up uh, going straight from the parade, uh, celebrated, gambled, had a good time, and we flew back to LA the next day. But definitely a, a memorable experience. Well, I mean, you're all big winners, but was anybody a big winner in Vegas? Anybody? Uh, a couple of my buddies came out pretty big. Yeah, unfortunately, I wasn't one of them, but uh, I had one buddy. He ended up buying his, his wife a nice Gucci purse on the way out the door, so some of those guys took care of uh, their significant others, but unfortunately, I was not a big winner. I, it was a good time, but I don't need to go back anytime soon. Uh, you're a big winner already, so no, no, no worries about the Vegas trip. No. Um, let's go back a little bit. We'll do this a little bit in chronological uh, period. Let's go to the NFC Championship. Uh, the Garoppolo pick, you guys have it. You're going to run out the clock. You're going to the Super Bowl. What was that whole sensation that time like? You know, it was unbelievable. It's just uh, they had, we hadn't beat the 49ers since I'd been in the NFL. They beat us six straight games, beat us to make the playoffs in Week 17. So we knew if we got to see them in the playoffs, you know, we were due for a big win. Came down to the wire, uh, some key plays, offense, defense, special teams, and uh, – you know, just the confetti coming down, knowing we were NFC champs and getting a chance to go play for the Super Bowl is pretty special. And then that begins the two-week period where NFC championships in the rearview mirror. Now it's all eyes on the Bengals, all eyes on the Super Bowl. Take us through that process and what that was like. Yeah, so, you know, we got really lucky because it was essentially a home game for us, right? The, being, in, being in L.A. and us that being our home stadium, uh, we got to sleep in our own beds. It was a normal kind of two weeks of prep. They threw in a couple extra off days leading up to uh, the Sunday before the game. And then, like I said, kind of normal prep week. We were in our own facility watching tape, meetings, uh, not too many crazy media obligations where if you go on the road for the Super Bowl, you're there a whole week before, sometimes even longer. So it was a normal prep week leading up to the game. We had some really good practices, got some good work done, and obviously it paid off uh, come Super Bowl Sunday. How much of an advantage do you feel that was for you guys, being right there in your own backyard on your field at SoFi Stadium? I definitely think it was an edge we had. Like I said, we are sleeping in our own beds. You're around your family, your friends. Um, not too many distractions. You know, if you go on the road, it's kind of like a bull trip. They set up activities. You've got media. It's kind of a crazy whirlwind of a week where for us, it was, it was like a normal home game. We treated it our normal practice schedule, normal meeting schedule, and I think that definitely gave us an edge going into the game on Sunday. All right, as we get closer to February 13th, which was Super Bowl Sunday, uh, take me through that Saturday. I remember at one point asking Coach Ferentz uh, the night before a bowl game on a bowl trip, because you know, I'm just a media guy, and I'm fired up for the game. I mean, <laughs> yep. I'm excited. I mean, I have a hard time sleeping the night before because I'm just excited for the, for the game. Yep. I'm not a player. I'm not a coach. Um, and I always remember him saying that, if, the, if we're well prepared, I sleep well and, I've, and I'm ready to go. Um, what sort of your approach as you get ready? What was that final 24 hours like? 100%. You know, I agree with Coach saying that. It's, uh, it was a little different flow of things because they had to bus us down. Usually you can drive down, but uh, we bus down Saturday night about 6 p.m., went through our normal meetings, our normal, normal di dinner schedule. Uh, our family and friends were staying at the so same hotel as, as us, so I got to say hello to my parents, Haley her parents and all my siblings so uh, it was it was cool but at the same time you gotta make sure you don't peak too early that's something our coaches are stressing you gotta peak at the right time which is kickoff uh, 3 30 Sunday afternoon whatever it was so uh, definitely a little stressful I slept like a baby that night woke up energetic ready to go and then it, it was you know interesting waiting around until kickoff you know all morning all afternoon but you gotta find a way to contain your energy and be ready to go come kickoff yeah, how did you handle Super Bowl Sunday, the build-up as the hours? Because I always know, you know, the introductions, before you even get to the introductions, just the whole process getting to that 3.30 Pacific time kick. Yeah, just killing time in your room, uh, going through the game plan one last time, you know, getting a lot of texts from family, friends, awesome support, responding to those, just those people wishing good luck. But, uh, 
Yeah, I was a little worried going into it because my senior day at Iowa was the worst game I'd ever played because I was so emotionally invested in, you know, the pregame, meet my parents on the field, my last time in Kinnick. But uh, I definitely think that was a good experience because I was able to contain my emotions, keep everything locked in until kickoff, and then from there it was all fun, just enjoying the ups and downs of that game. Talk about that final drive for the Rams and Stafford and Cup doing their thing and uh, sort of take us through your emotions in that. Yeah, uh, definitely. They're a special duo. Our whole offense, we knew we had to go down and score. Uh, there's a critical fourth down there with a couple minutes left that, you know, if we don't get that, they get the ball to 50. You know, who knows what's going to happen, even though we had some timeouts left. So uh, it just all came down to us playing complimentary football, offense, defense, special teams, guys making clutch plays, and then. Uh, I like to stay away from the madness. So when they're driving, I'm on the total opposite side. And then same thing at the end of the game when uh, Cincinnati got the ball back. I, I stayed far away from where our defense was, just watching from afar. And it was really cool to see you know, Aaron Donald make that last play to kind of finish the game off. What was that moment like for Jake Gervas? The game is done. You guys are super. You're a Super Bowl champion. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's something special. It's uh, I kind of try to take take a moment just to enjoy it myself. I, I hug some of my closest teammates. Guys have you know, been with me on this journey the last couple of years, the ups and the downs. Uh, it's, it's all a blur. The confetti starts coming down. Your every teammate, coach, athletic trainer, every time you see him, you know, you're just yelling, yeah, and you're giving him a big hug and celebrating Super Bowl champs. So it was something really special. Then our family, uh, Haley, my dad, made their way down to the field. Um, got to give them a big hug, celebrate with them. It, it was definitely something Something special because it, it's you know so crazy to think about being a Super Bowl champ, and you kind of got to sit back, take a second, and soak it all in. That is something else. You know what? Let's do a little show and tell, and uh, maybe you want a, a surprise guest. You bet. You think so? All right. You know what? So. We're gonna take a, a timeout. We'll do a timeout and uh, show and tell, and, and maybe we'll have somebody else on the couch with us. This is Fox 18 Sports Sunday.